Hello and welcome to the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. My name is Craig Chamberlain and I'm your host and we are in the free software series where I show you free software that is free. I think that's like the greatest benefit of free software that it's free. I don't know about you. But today we're going to go to the download section like we've done before at PCMachina.com. There will be a link in the sidebar. And we're going to talk about a nifty little tool called the PDF Creator. Now this tool is actually open source, so it can be used for both personal and commercial use. I know a lot of you use Cute PDF Creator. We're going to be talking about that one later, but that one's only free for private use. So go ahead and go to the PDF Creator website, select the link, and you want to select the PDF Creator free open source download. And of course, you want to download it like you normally do and run through the installer. Now after you've installed PDF Creator, you will of course be given a desktop icon. You can double click on that to open up the PDF Creator print monitor. Now there's multiple ways to print PDFs with PDF Creator. The nice thing is that it actually creates a printer on your computer that you print to that actually creates the PDF documents instead of printing it to a printer. If you don't know what I mean, just hang in there and I'll show you in a second. First, let me go ahead and add a document. I created test documents on my desktop. I'll say files of type all files. And I'm going to go ahead and select my test doc. This is a .doc file. And it'll tell me I need to set it temporarily as my default printer. I'll just say OK. And then I'll say instead of saving, which will save it straight to a PDF, I'm going to go to wait. And this will let me print multi-page PDFs. Now, if that's the only document you want printed to PDF, you can obviously enter all your details here and then just click save. But I'm going to go ahead and wait for my multi-page. I'm going to add another document to it and go back to my desktop. And I also have another test document for testing text files. So I'll select that one as well. And as you can see, it showed up here for the notepad. So I have this option here to now too. Now, if I want to make both of these show up on one document, I can actually combine them. So let me go ahead and hold shift and select both of them, right click and select combine all. And now I have one document that will actually include both files. Notice the size actually doubled. But now let me show you the third way of actually printing with PDF Creator. If I'm at any website or any document reader or I'm in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you name it, you can do your normal print. And then when the printer comes up, you'll notice you have a PDF Creator installed. Now, this is one of the greatest features of PDF Creator. So then I'll just select Print. And what it'll do is it'll actually add it to my list of documents. See, now I have my original test document, which had two of them combined. And now I have another document added to the list. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight these, and I'm going to combine those as well. I'll right click and combine all. And now I actually have three pages combined together for one print document. After that's completed, then you just need to go ahead and select the print button by right clicking on it and selecting print. And now I can actually title my document and I'll say this is a test PDF. And then I'll enter all my other details. I can say the subject and keywords and things like that. But then I'm going to go ahead and go to save. And I'm going to say this is a test PDF. I'm going to save it to my desktop and click save. And the PDF creator is going to crunch. And this is the Word document I added to it first. If I scroll down, as you can see, I'm in a PDF viewer. If I scroll down, this is the text document, which I added to it. And then thirdly is going to be the actual web page that I printed to it. Now, this is actually a Google Chrome thing. Google Chrome actually prints like this. So don't blame the actual PDF creator for printing it like this. But this is actually how the website looks as far as a right click and print works in PDF creator. Basically, I'm showing you that you can print just about anything to the PDF creator, either directly through the right click or file and print tab, and you got a printer, or you can just go ahead and go to the PDF creator print manager and add them individually. That's all there is to this episode. I hope you guys enjoy the PDF creator. Remember, it's free for commercial and private use, so get a good look and handle on this one. This will be great for uh, showing off to your employer. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.